know that April's the best month to plan your summer travel. Our favorite travel expert, our friend Adam Duckworth is here. Duckworth! Duckworth! Ooh, and his cute blazer with all the details next. Welcome back to Access Daily, guys. Summer is just around the corner. It's never too early to start your travel plans. Never too early. Joining us now is the president and founder of Travelmation, Adam Duckworth. Hey! Hi, Adam. I'm thrilled to be back. Uh, let's talk about plans. Why is April the perfect time to start planning? Kit, so many people plan their travel two to three months in advance, which means right now is the prime time. In fact, in our organization, business is really popping because people are getting ready for summer. Easter's over spring break is winding down month to plan summer travel. Okay, but where are people traveling to? Where are the hot spots this summer? Hot spots this summer, let's start with the most popular spot in North America, Alaska. Oh, I love that. In fact, I'm taking my wife and little four-year-old daughter, Libby, to Alaska this summer. See, have you heard of Coolcations? No. So Coolcations no. is like where people are a little bit over the warm temperature, so they're going to cooler climate places, Alaska being the most popular. Cruising, also really, really popular in Alaska. Princess Cruises this year celebrating 55 years in Alaska. They are the queen of Alaska, we say, but I'm telling you, Alaska is one of the most stunning places on planet Earth to see, especially in the summer. Adam, you you're telling me uh -huh. that people want to go in the summertime. Correct. On a cruise. Correct. To Alaska. Let me tell you something. Season, Scott, is May. To, to basically September, so uh -huh. imagine sitting on your balcony, passing a glacier, having a cup of coffee, stopping in multiple ports along Alaska. I've done it now three times. It's the most wonderful thing I've ever done in I've the summertime. I've done it, and we also went dog sledding. I oh. saw grizzlies. I was in a plant. You need to go to Alaska. Have you ever seen ice like fall off the side of a yes. glacier? Kit, phenomenal. Phenomenal. And okay. the food and the people. There's one town where they don't see daylight. They live in a building. It's, I don't know what that town's called. Are you uh, selling it? What about a hot spot for the kids, Adam? You might not think. Now, if you can handle the hot spot, speaking of the hot kit, you might not think that theme parks should be really popular in the summertime because it's in Florida and sometimes Southern California, but it's really, really popular. In fact, the, pop yeah. in fact, the uh, attendance is a little bit down in the summertime versus spring break or holidays or other times of year. I'm a huge fan of Universal, specifically Universal Orlando. DreamWorks Land opens this summer wow. in Florida. And now wait. If you can brave the heat, this is the place. But you know where I, our eye is on the prize for? What's that? Next year. Next year. When Universal Epic Universe yes. opens. Have you, are, I mean, I know you all were just there, weren't you? It is uh. the greatest park. First of all, it is so clean and so yes. beautiful. And all of their attractions are just kicked up a notch, I feel like. They are. And so we're look into next summer when Universal Epic Universe opens. You're taking a look at some of the renderings right now. All the rage in the theme park space is leading to next summer at Universal Epic Universe. Scott and I were on Harry Potter and tell what happened. I lost my weave. You know, it where literally we, came and out. And it flew out. <laughs> Scott and I were on that little motorcycle. I was trying you to catch Hagrid's in the <laughs> We were on Hagrid's. Oh my goodness. And, it, and she almost looked Hagrid when we got off of it. <laughs> I lost my weave. <laughs> okay, but what about the one-stop shop? Is there any uh, options for people who are looking for one place, one location never have to leave. Why swipe your credit card five times when you can swipe it once I at the like all-inclusive? Okay. Food included, booze included, and just last week, people are going to Mexico and the Caribbean, but in the Southern Caribbean, Sandals and Beaches opened their very latest property. Last week, Sandals St. Vincent, located in St. Vincent in the Grenadines. Yes. If you're looking for that tropical vibe where everything's included, you don't really even have to leave, an all-inclusive could definitely be for you. You love and all yeah, I'm, Scott yeah, I'm can chill. You like to just check in Scott and we there. Just relax. Yeah. I get a I little anxious. I, I don't need no I bears. Love. I don't need no glaciers. <laughs> I don't need no people who don't see sunlight for months. <laughs> I need this right there. Oh. All right, what about gig tripping? One of the big travel trends happening right now is what gig tripping. Okay, gig tripping is where you will travel and make a vacation or a trip around a gig. So right now, Taylor Swift is kind mm -hmm. of bringing this back in Europe as her tour starts there next month. People are planning week-long trips, two-week-long trips. They're going to one show, two shows in Europe, and they're going surrounding a gig. Of course, this has been around for a long time, but with Taylor in the Eras Tour, 
This is coming back in a massive way. We have yeah. more people doing this than ever before. I hadn't heard of this really before, Taylor, and I have so many friends that couldn't get tickets for their kids mm -hmm. that are now are going abroad to go see her in Poland or wherever they're going. And, and some of them are making multiple stops. They're making lifetime vacations based on this trip. Yeah, I had gig a couple friends who did uh, the Stockholm was the first tour, first stop for Beyonce's tour. Yes. And they went there because it was the easiest place to get tickets. To get the tickets. Mm -hmm. That's it. It's a big, big travel trend. Let's talk about saving some money. Okay. What are the best tips for saving? Everybody wants to save some money, the right? Moolah. Everybody wants to pick up a little moolah. Number one, use a travel advisor. People think travel agents are kind of dead and a thing of the past. Not true. Travel agents are coming roaring back. Travel advisors will monitor for deals and promotions and be able to apply them to your trip once they're monitoring those things. Number two, you want to make sure to actually get in advance of your travel. We talk about two or three months, but the farther you can get in advance, the more that you will pick up. The other thing, Flight alerts. Have you heard of flight alerts? No. So Google Flights, Kayak. If you can set flight alerts, you will actually be able to get those notifications when flights go down in price. Did you hear that? When flights go down in price, you get a notification. A Don't flight. wait to pick up that flight itinerary. Hey, Siri. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Tell Siri get ready flight for it. Lastly, yeah. don't miss August. A lot of times people think that August, summer's over, you're wrapping up travel. However, August can be a really popular time to travel. Prices go down, kids go back to school, and you know what I said? Maybe after week one, maybe week two, you pull the kids out of school and go on a trip because the prices are down. I know, I like you. Adam. Adam has done it again. Done it again. For more travel tips, check out the Travel Nation website. Adam, you're the man. Thank you. We'll be right back.